this video, I'm going to share with you the best abilities you can be using post AP update in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and in this video, like I said, we're going to be taking a look at the AP update and my abilities. Um, also, want to let you know real quickly, these are for my trips tight end offense and my nickel defense, um, whether it be nickel normal or nickel 335 wide, both are uh, basically going to be set up essentially the same way. So, if you want to check out um, if you want to check out my ebooks, you can get all of them over at my Patreon membership. They all come with the membership. So I've got over 20 ebooks. If you want to check them out, there's a link in the description. You can get all of them for one price just by joining the membership for just 10 bucks. Get you everything. So if you want to check that out, there's a link in the description. Okay, so let's talk about my ability. So the, the biggest thing that I, I've got two kind of setups for you, but really with the AP update on offense, I think it makes a lot more sense. Now, I don't like escape artists. I refuse to use it. I think it makes you a bad player. That's just in my opinion, because in this game, it's so broken that you don't really have to make any reads on offense. And we know that that's not a good long-term strategy, but if you want to, it is certainly probably the, it's definitely the most overpowered ability in the game. So if you want the best chance of winning, then yeah, throw escape artists on and go crazy. But if you want to become the best player you can be, I think it doesn't make sense because I don't think it's going to be that good next year. At least I hope not. Um, typically with stuff like this, um, the next year they really nerf it. So uh, it's so good this year that I, I could definitely see it being very bad next year. Okay, so let's go through what I've got. I've got, I, I went back to Joe Namath. I was using Peyton Manning. Um but I went back to Joe Namath, and the main reason why is because he gets fearless. Um, and then, of course, he's got Slinger Slinger 1 release and Hot Rod Master Gunslinger Long Range Deadeye. Now, you could take Long Range Deadeye off and put that put another deep out of lead on your field if you wanted to do that. Um, but I'm a big believer in fearless. Uh, I feel like the only way I really get stopped on offense is if I get shedded or if I get like a 4-3 even guy and they get under pressure all game, to me, this is such a life-saving ability. So Peyton Manning gets a set feet lead, hot rap master and fearless. I wanna say for four or five AP, obviously we're spending a lot more, but Joe Namath does, has a, does have a significantly better release than Peyton Manning, at least in my opinion. Now I will say that Manning's not bad. If you can tolerate his release, he's really good. I think. I think those are the two top tier quarterbacks. Obviously McNair I'm gonna take a look at, but I just can't afford him right now. But from an ability perspective, I really think Gunslinger is good. Um, I, you could make an argument for Pashley to lead or set feet lead this year. They're actually really good too. So if you wanted to, but I really like this because when I throw the ball on a deep route, I've just noticed that Joe Namath doesn't load up as much as if I had set feet or pass lead lead. Um, so that's just, just my opinion. So, uh, I'm still kind of testing it, but gunslinger, if you wanted to go with a slinger or not slinger, but a gen three release, there's a new Dak Prescott coming out today that has gen three. Um, the, he'll be pretty decent, but honestly, I mean, you, I don't know. You could use Derek Carr. Derek Carr to me is really good too. Um, so it, it comes down to what release, but I would recommend fearless and that's a big thing for me so field general quarterback is really what i'm looking for because they have the fearless ability i think that's a really really important ability right now okay so on uh my inside receiver on the trips or my number like the guy that's going to be running my crossers and stuff i've got jimmy smith and you could actually take route tech off of this guy if you wanted to and just have deep out elite Really, I just mainly need the, the deep out elite for catching purposes. I've noticed that route tech's not like, it's not crazy um, good on him. So I could justify like putting another player there. I would leave route tech on Jimmy Smith just because he gets it for two AP. But this is what I've got with him. I've got double me, route tech, and deep out elite. I just think the route tech, I mean, I just don't know where else to put it. You could say I'm going to put it on this guy um, and like switch these guys out. I've been using Ed Too Tall Jones, and I want to talk about why. Um, if you actually look at his abilities and stuff, it's not bad. He's a deep threat archetype. He's 97 speed, so he's not like it's not like he's like 93 speed. He's 97 speed on a 50 out of 50 Cowboys team team. But he also has 97 deep route running, and of course he's six foot nine. 
So I find that this guy plays really, really, really well. And the biggest thing is, if you take a look at his height and weight, he uh, he can truck on flat routes. So if I throw a flat route to him, which this guy normally on probably 80% of my plays is on a flat route or a streak, um, this guy does really well for that because he can moss people, he can use or catch with him, um, and of course he can truck people. You don't. I fumbled a lot with Hester there, so that's kind of why I like Two Tall Jones he doesn't really fumble and then my outside guys Lance Allworth now I could easily switch Jimmy Smith and Lance Allworth if I wanted to or whatever um, I just have short out of lead on him I feel like that's all you really need it just gets him really good cuts on everything he's gonna get really good win animations you could I was having deep out of lead and short out of lead but to me for the types of routes that he's gonna run short out elite is is all you need you don't need anything else on that player so if I was gonna do anything different I would switch I would just put Jimmy Smith with route tech um, here and then put Ed with deep out elite there or something like that. Now, the big thing here is my O-line. So I'm running two post-ups. And I, if you notice, I'm using the backyard ballers so that I can get post-ups for cheap. Now, I'm still kind of testing this because obviously if they don't, like let's say they're just in a one-on-one -on -one pass rush, I do get shedded. Um, with these guys because they're just not very good pass blockers but um, if you come over here and check out my my thing here I'm getting these guys for one AP so like I get edge protector two edge protectors for one AP and two post ups for one AP now it, I, I have also been messing with secure protector I think it makes a lot of sense to use these guys as your guards regardless because post up is such a good ability um, in this game, and then to take an uh, uh, maybe your better guys like Allen and and Davis and put secure protector on them on the outsides because they'll be really good. The biggest thing that the biggest issue I ever run into, honestly, is when I get shedded with edge threats out of four three even. To me, that's the biggest defense that gives me any kind of trouble. So that's why I want the edge protectors. Um, but I'm still kind of messing with that edge protector secure protector is better than edge protector for sure but obviously it costs more so if you want to put that out there then um you could get away honestly with just two post-ups and that would free up two more ap where you could put a route tech or something there um the only other thing that i wanted to talk about was i normally have uh i normally have deep out elite on this guy um i've noticed that's not like it doesn't do everything that I get used to do if you will so what you might consider is a deep out elite and maybe a deep in elite maybe doing both um, you know just if you really wanted to have a good tight end I have just found deep out elite does help on corner routes um, primarily and I was in a game and didn't have it and I threw a pick on it so anyways just 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 you know that's what I do there now defense is a little bit different um, I have tried almost every ability that you can think of on the defensive side of the ball this year. And this is what I keep coming back to as my main thing. And that is that on my three corners that are going to be covering like their three best receiving threats, I like to go with pick artist, acrobat, and deep route KO. Now, the one thing I would take off of this is uh, pick artist. So if you want to take pick artist off and free up three more AP, you could do that and I'll explain why you might want to do that so um, I have that on my three guys and another quick side note is deep route KO to me um, it actually is fairly helpful because the only way that you're gonna get burnt you, you don't typically get like just burned in man they beat you by like a step or two and so the deep route KO will allow you to knock out the ball if it's like a post or something some kind of deep route and you know again you could you could easily justify just running acrobat and pick artist and not deep route ko i've done that as well and it's worked fine um i'm just saying this is what i like and then at my safety positions in three through five i have acrobats here and here and then i have an, a pick artist on my user now um the the justification for you know getting yourself getting yourself more ap would be so you could put acrobat on these two guys I have just found, and these these guys being like your linebackers, 
I have just found that I blitz them the majority of the time. So I'm not super, um, I'm just not super concerned with, with that, or they're in an underneath zone. Um, so anyways, I mean, you could, you could easily justify putting acrobats here. The problem is like you, the problem is you would have to take off your deep route KOs to really make it work because you would need, um, acrobat everywhere. Cause you definitely want to have something on your user. That's just my opinion. I think pick artist is really good on your user. Acrobat's really good on your user. You need something on your user, right? So, you know, Derwin James is a great user because he gets Acrobat, Pick Artist, and Mid Zone for 3 AP. So he's going to knock everything out. You know, he's going to play everything. But anyways, just just trust me, you need Acrobat on your user or Pick Artist, one of the two. Um, so I'm probably going to grab Jimmy Graham because he gets Pick Artist and Acrobat for 2 AP. Um, you know, and maybe user him or something. But anyways, this is kind of what I'm going with and on my on my guys. So that is my ability update for trips tied in and three through five wide. Um, if you want to learn more about those schemes, join our Patreon membership. There's a link in the description where you can sign up for it. Thanks for watching the video and uh, we'll see you guys next time.